In Mr. TV18 exclusive interview now, the World Bank president in conversation with Shireen Bhan has categorically stated that global crisis like Brexit had a minimal impact on India since India is a strong economy already growing with a strong growth rate of 7%. The president has also lauded Prime Minister Modi's bold measures, be it on bank bankruptcy law or cleaning up the NPA mess, even the Swachh Bharat mission for that matter. He goes on to say that India will be the fastest growing economy in the world under PM Modi's bold measures. Take a look. You know, many people thought that uh, the vote wouldn't happen that way, but you know, this is this is a democratic process, and and, and the vote went as it did. You know, um, uh, we're watching a lot of different things. Of course, as the World Bank Group, our biggest concern is what will this mean uh, for developing countries. Mm -hmm. Now, luckily in India, uh, it seems like the impact will be relatively muted. Uh, there's not a huge amount of exposure. Uh, the the uh, the stock market went down for a bit, but then it uh, it, it uh, rebounded uh, quite nicely, mm -hmm. and I think that's an indication of the of the health of the Indian economy today. It's the fastest growing economy in the world at, at around seven and a half percent. So uh, for India, it doesn't seem like there'll be such a, a a big impact. But we're following many other issues. What will happen to oil and gas prices? Mm -hmm. There are many different forces going on right now. Commodity exporters in developing countries have been having huge problems with overall the growth rate that's approaching zero and it was over two percent last year uh, so there are many uh, different things you know the world global markets uh, don't like uncertainty mm -hmm. and one of the things that we're seeing that's definitely happening is of course the flight to safety people are are oh. uh, yeah gold uh, US treasuries even Japanese yen paying mm -hmm. negative interest rates of course you know German bonds are are still extremely popular despite the fact that uh, uh, interest rates are negative there and so what that means also is that access to finance for developing countries uh, will probably get worse in terms of some of the measures that have already been taken and some that haven't are you disappointed perhaps uh, that the government ought to have been bolder in trying to address the NPA situation to try and bring down government ownership of banks do you believe that perhaps there should have been much more bolder measures taken by the government to address that. The reforms that have been already announced are extremely bold. And some of them, the, the goods and services tax, which would be so uh, critically important, uh, you, you know, uh, Prime Minister might have put that out, but other political parties that mm. are in existence also have endorsed it, but right now it's stuck. Uh, these, if these things happen, if all the things that Prime Minister Modi has already announced actually can happen in the context of the political climate in India, India will be a very, very different place. There is plenty of evidence to, to suggest that the gradual, effective, thoughtful, careful privatization of state-owned institutions can be extremely helpful for countries. We've done this uh, in countries uh, uh, that, are, that have communist governments. We've mm. done lots of, uh, of these projects in Vietnam, and uh, we've been working with China on them as well. Uh, but this is a, these are very controversial issues, and mm. so every leader has to weigh uh, the boldness of uh, re reforms with the uh, practicality of getting it done in particular uh, economic contests. We're impressed with Prime Minister Modi's boldness on so many different issues, mm. and we're uh, simply trying to support him in, in making them come to what fruition.